everybody. 네. 쉐 샤바 샤바. 안트라 네 샤바 샤바. That's my favorite part when Amitabh gets so mad. Everybody, shava, shava. He's not really mad, but guttural yells of shava, a... shava. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm Stephanie, and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Finish it. Oh. Uh, for more juicy content, follow us on our official Twitter. Subscribe. Subscribe. And Thank like. Thank you to Patreon for being the bomb diggity. Patreon attic. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, babe? What am I doing? How are you doing? How am I doing? I'm okay. I'm tired today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What did you do last night? I didn't do anything. Or who did you do last night? Hey yo. Hey yo. It was me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> today uh, we got another uh, video of you know how we did the uh, multiverse. This yes. is proof of interstellar time travel in Hinduism. What? Apparently, Hindus are time travelers. Uh, I don't know if this just kind of has to go along with the multiverse. Okay. Or if it's actually, I, I, I literally know nothing. Um, but is if, it like Interstellar? Like, is there going to be like a bookshelf? And mm, I hope so. I love a good bookshelf. <laughs> Here we go. Time travel is a mysterious subject in science and has been the subject of debate for centuries. But many believe it to be infeasible or fantasy, while others disagree. But... Is time travel really possible or it is just fantasy? Let's first understand what exactly is time travel. The idea of time travel is according to the fact that we can either come forward or backward in time. We can go to the past and go forward into the future. But is it just an idea or do we really have this ability to do so? There are two ways to discuss time travel, modern science and Sanatan Vedic scriptures. In the first part, we look to modern science and in the second part, we look at Vedic scriptures. Time travel according to modern science. Some people believe that it is possible to travel back in time, but the feasibility of this is unknown. Forward time travel, which is traveling outside the normal sense of time, has been extensively observed and well understood within the framework of special relativity and general relativity. However, making one body advance or delay more than a few milliseconds compared to another body is not feasible with current technology. There is some theoretical basis for backward time travel in general relativity, such as through rotating back holes. However, Traveling to any specific point in space-time is a much more difficult proportion and is usually connected with quantum mechanism or wormholes. Time Travel in Hinduism When studying Hindu scriptures, there is evidence that suggests time travel is possible. One such classic example is that of King Kakudami and his daughter Revti who travelled to different dimensions and returned to Earth in the future. King Kakudami was a descendant of the Sun dynasty. Kakudami's daughter Revti was so beautiful and so talented that when she reached marriageable age, Kakudami, thinking that no one on Earth was worthy of her, Kakudami went to the creator himself, Lord Brahma, to seek his advice about a suitable husband for his daughter. When they arrived, Lord Brahma was listening to a music performed by Gandharv. So they waited patiently until the performance was over. Kakudami then humbly bowed, made his request and presented his list of candidates. Lord Brahma 
laughed out loud and explained that time passes differently on different plans of existence and during the short time they waited in Brahmalok to see them, they spent 27 Chatur Yog on earth. 27 Chatur Yog means 116,640,000 human years. Brahma said to Kakudami, O king, all those whom you decide to accept as son-in-law in your heart have died in the course of time. 27 Chatur Yog have already passed. The ones who have already chosen are gone, as are your children, grandchildren and other descendants. You can't even hear their names. Therefore, you must give your daughter to another husband, because now you are alone and your friends, your ministers, servants, wives, relatives, armies and treasures have long since been swept away by the hand of time. King Kakudami was surprised to hear this news. However, Lord Brahma comforted him and said to him, <coughs> Lord Vishnu, the preserver was currently incarnate on earth in the form of Lord Krishna and Balram. He recommended Balram as a husband for Revti. Kakudami and Revti returned to earth after only a short time away and were shocked by the changes that had taken place. The environment and landscape had changed, but what was even more shocking was the state of human culture and spiritual evolution. Mankind was now at a lower level than when they had left. The Bhagavad Puran describes that they found the race of men had become shorter, reduced in strength and enfeebled in intellect. The daughter and father found Balram and proposed the marriage. Since Revti came from a different time, she was taller than Balram. So, Balram used his plough to reduce her height according to present conditions. Hmm. Their marriage were then duly celebrated. This story is believed to be a possible indication of ancient Hindu knowledge of the phenomenon of time dilation. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you so like interesting. It, Interesting. The history behind a lot of like the Hindu mythology is so vast. There's yeah. so much uh, information and stories and and all that kind of stuff that that it, it's not shocking that they have something in there about a possible time travel um, element of it. Uh, and obviously, if there's in 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 their world multiple a multiverse as mm -hmm. well, um, that's it's super super interesting. And Steph is a big uh, sci-fi nerd. Yes, so this is very interesting to me because it's just like if they hadn't waited for the the, the concert. Yeah, the concert to end, like they probably could have still been back at home with their families. Yeah, and he could have met his grandchildren. And <laughs> all it's crazy. Yeah um yeah it's 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 super interesting um and it, it all comes back to and I, I saw somebody after we reacted to the video um that said it it is smart to kind of learn about a lot of the stuff because it, it there's such a through line in m a lot of films and the fact that like characters are based off of certain gods but they don't specifically say that in the film and, well, and different kind of stories like that yeah i would say even these two that we that we've watched like it um i feel like it helps me better understand that one movie that we ggvv watched. yeah mm -hmm. because then the beginning and end make more sense because if there's time travel and there's this multiverse and stuff like all of these things can be happening simultaneously and changing and yeah, it's all so cool. super interesting. I wonder if any of the little Krishnas goes over the uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. goes over any of the multiverse or the uh, the time travel elements uh, in it. Um, no spoilers. Yeah, we'll see if Leland will sit for the other ones. I don't know yet, um, but uh, yeah, that was super interesting. If there's other such videos for us dummies and our educational purposes, please send them our way. And other videos we can react to, please down below. Josh!